And you travel far, far away from home You will find the Lord at your side Jesus leads you on every road you take And He'll always be your trusty guide Your life is your journey to your destination during the Compass Conference, we have taken you on a virtual journey of life. During your life, you will come across many crossroads. There may be clear signs indicating which direction you could take, to the right or to the left. Do I go forward or do I turn around and go backwards? Often, we will need to make a decision based on prayer, study of God's word and reading the signs around us. To find our direction. Jeremiah 6 16 says, Thus saith the Lord, Stand ye in the ways, and see, and ask for the old paths, where is the good way, and walk therein, and ye shall find rest for your souls. But they said, We will not walk therein. One thing is sure, there is only one way which will lead you to heaven. God has surrounded us with signs of his love, in the nature around us, in the words of wisdom from patriarchs of old, Isaiah 30, 21, and your ears shall hear a word behind you saying, this is the way, walk in it, when you turn to the right or when you turn to the left. But we must put in some effort ourselves to be aware of our surroundings. We must watch. We have also been provided with a compass and it's been interesting to find the different thoughts coming out with what a compass might represent to you. If your compass were your conscience, you know that Jesus will be the needle that will direct you, ever constant, ever pointing us to heaven, redirecting your path. Jesus said unto him, I am the way, the truth and the life. No man cometh unto the Father but by me. It's from John 14 verse 6. Sometimes, in error or by design, we choose a way contrary to the will of God, but he, in his great mercy, will provide further opportunities again and again that we may choose a path which will lead back to God, to heaven and to home. Corinthians 10.13 There hath no temptation taken you but such as is common to man, but God is faithful who will not suffer you to be tempted above that ye are able, but will, with the temptation, also make a way to escape, that ye may be able to bear it. And again in Jeremiah 29 verse 11, For I know the thoughts that I think towards you, saith the Lord, thoughts of peace and not of evil, to give you an expected end. One poor decision can lead to disastrous consequences as in the case of Solomon. However, while we immerse ourselves in the love of God, reading his word, spending time in prayer, giving ourselves in love to those around us, we will be transformed into his image. Colossians 2 verses 6 to 7 As ye have therefore received Christ Jesus the Lord, so walk ye in him, rooted and built up in him, and established in the faith as ye have been taught, abounding therein with thanksgiving. But we don't make this journey alone. God is by our side each step of the way. But it's a beautiful thought to know that not only is God by our side, but he provides us companions on our journey. These companions may be your brothers, your sisters, your brothers or sisters in the faith, your husband, your wife, parents, aunts, uncles or friends. A beautiful verse is in Psalms 55 verse 14. It says, We took sweet counsel together and walked unto the house of God in company. God gives us people to be our companions on this life journey. We either let our light 
kindled by the love of God, shine to those around or allow our light to be dimmed by choice, by circumstances or by companions. We can help those around us by allowing our lights to shine, by sharing our faith, by giving to Jesus. Matthew 5.13 says, Ye are the salt of the earth. But if the salt have lost his savour, wherewith shall it be salted? It is henceforth good for nothing, but to be cast out and to be trodden under foot of men. Ye are the light of the world. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hid, neither do men light a candle, and put it under a bushel, but on a candlestick. And it giveth light unto all that are in the house. Let your light so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father, which is in heaven. Our light is to share with those around us. But in allowing our light to shine to others, it shines even more brightly for ourselves. Each of our paths takes us on different journeys. We may often cross paths. Sometimes it will be years before we will cross paths again. Maybe we'll, we will never cross paths again. But be sure that every decision in life is impacted by or impacts those with whom we are in contact. Adventist Home, page 456, paragraph 2. If choice is made of companions who fear the Lord, the influence will lead to truth, to duty, and to holiness. A truly Christian life is a powerful good, but on the other hand, those who associate with men and women of questionable morals, of bad principles and practices, will soon be walking in the same path. Where will your life journey take you? Will it lead you to heaven and home? What influences will you allow in your life that will keep you a path true? Your direction sure. Joel 3.14 Multitudes, multitudes in the valley of decision. For the day of the Lord is near in the valley of decision. Child Guidance, page 562, paragraph 1. Let parents and children remember that day by day they are each forming a character and that the features of this character are imprinted upon the books of heaven. God is taking pictures of his people just as truly as an artist take pictures of men and women, transferring the features of the face to the polished plate. What kind of picture do you wish to produce? Parents, answer the question. What kind of picture will the great master artist make of you in the records of heaven? We must decide this now. Hereafter, when death shall come, there will be no time to straighten the crooked places in the character. No one knows what tomorrow holds. You and I may be granted many more years in service to God or self. We may be granted one day. 2 Corinthians 6.2 Behold, now is the accepted time. Behold, now is the day of salvation. A beautiful hymn that's meant a lot to me over the years. Life is like a mountain railroad with an engineer that's brave. You must make the run successful from the cradle to the grave. Life is like a mountain railroad with an engineer that's brave. We must make the run successful from the cradle to the grave Watch the curves, the fields, the tunnels Never falter, never fail Keep your hand upon the throttle And your eye upon the rail Blessed Saviour, Thou will guide us Till we reach that blissful shore Where the angels wait to join us In thy praise forevermore As 
to roll across the trestle, spanning Jordan's swelling tide. You behold the Union Depot, into which your train will glide. There you'll meet the superintendent, God the Father, God the Son. With the hearty, joyous plaudit, weary pilgrim, welcome home. Blessed Savior, Thou will guide us till we reach that blissful shore, where the angels wait to join us in Thy praise forevermore. Blessed Savior. Till we reach that blissful shore Where the angels wait to join us In thy praise forevermore In thy praise forevermore You have numerous paths, many crossroads many decisions you will make in life but you only have a choice between two guides two engineers two pilots you choose your guide your engineer your pilot you and i don't know when our journey will end but our destination will be there waiting which destination have you chosen will you hear those blessed words well done, good and faithful servant. Enter thou into the joy of thy Lord.